RCSI has a really long history. We've been here since 1784, but we're a very small part of a much bigger story around the development of healthcare. We can learn a lot by looking into the past. Heritage collections form part of the library in RCSI. It gives us a glimpse into the fascinating history of medicine and surgery in Ireland and further afield. The College Archive is really the record of the College from 1784. We also have private and more personal collections, things like diaries, letters, manuscripts, photographs. We have a large medical instrument collection. The value of the collections that we have is their uniqueness. History is anything but static. It is made up of interpretations. It is made up of stories. Some days I get to tell that story. Other days I get to help others tell the stories they're interested in telling. Everybody has a past. Archives are for anybody who is curious about that past. Researchers, writers, academics. The general public, people who are researching their family histories, schools and school children, but also our own undergraduate student population. We get to bring elements of the social sciences and the arts and humanities into a very specific health sciences institution. One of my favourite things personally is we run a module for students where we encourage them to look at the historical context for the way medicine is taught and practised today. One of the things that we're all really passionate about is finding ways to connect people with their past. I get to meet people every day, whether that's in the archives themselves, in a diary, in a letter, in a photograph, or in person when they come in to see the archive and to find out about their own history. It's something that I really love about my job. Archives are very much a living, breathing thing. They're constantly growing, constantly building, constantly developing. Oral history is when I sit down with somebody associated with the college and we have a recorder and we have a chat. When people come in and tell their stories, they are adding to the college's memory. It's just a fascinating process of watching that expand voice by voice. It's one of the parts of the job I actually enjoy the best. People think of an archive and they think of boxes on shelves and locked vaults and yes, we have plenty of those, but technology has really changed everything about archives. The biggest benefit is our ability to both preserve the collections and manage them and also to make those collections accessible to as many people as possible. Our main priority is the curatorship of these collections to collect and catalogue, house them appropriately, to ensure their long-term preservation. We want people to enjoy them, to learn from them, to have fun, to engage with them. The value of archives is, it tells us how far we've come, but it's also a good indicator of how far we still have to go.